Hey everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Sell This Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you the crankshaft position sensor location on the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine to get you back on the road and get rid of that trouble code. Let's jump in. Jumping right into this repair everyone, first tip is to take that driver's side front tire off. This will give you more room to work. Next, the two heat shields on your driver's side turbo will have to come off as well. Let's see how we do this and what tools we need. Smash that subscribe button. Alright guys, now that we have those two heat shields out of the way, the one that is guarding the crankshaft position sensor, and the other one that is guarding the prop shaft from getting any heat from the turbos. So this one is held on with two 10 millimeter bolts, as you see right there. This one is held on with a 10 millimeter bolt and a 10 millimeter nut. So it looks like 10 millimeter is going to be our friend on this one. Mine is needing a seven millimeter socket to uh, extract the crankshaft position sensor which let's go over where that is so we're looking right in the driver's side wheel well we go all the way in i'm going to show you with the light and we removed the heat shield and now you can see the rubber grommet under the turbo right there i'm going to point at it for you that is the crankshaft position sensor location. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that rubber grommet. Do not touch the electrical connector yet. You will see the bolt in there, which is a seven millimeter. We are going to have to use a pretty long extension on a quarter inch drive, but no worries there. We have some pretty long ones. Uh, so let's go ahead and get prepped for that. I know the lighting and the space is bad on this. You can go ahead and thank Ford for that. Uh, that's a, a great engineer problem right there. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, get that rubber grommet out of the way. Uh, that way we can see that bolt. Back. All right, guys, we removed the rubber grommet. Now you can see far in there, I'm going to point at it, is your seven millimeter bolt holding your crankshaft position sensor in. Uh, we need to see exactly the placement on this because it needs to go in just like it comes out and uh, it can give you a little bit of problems. All right, as you can see, I have the extensions uh, all the way connected to the crankcase position sensor, seven millimeter bolt. That's a quarter inch uh, drive I'm using. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hey take guys, it out. Uh, one more thing I wanted to, I wanted to point out uh, if we check out the position of this uh, sensor in there, you see the bolt is actually in the oh, five o'clock position with the sensor being above that. Let me see if I can get a, you got that heat wrap around the harness right there. You can see it. Let me see, I'm gonna try to get bit better of a shot there you go the heat wrap right there that is your connector okay so the connector goes in about the 10 o'clock position with the bolt going in the four o'clock five o'clock position okay with the if you check out the new sensor okay it'll be just like that in there okay position just like that that's where the connector is do not unplug the connector until you get the bolt out when you get the bolt out put the new connector uh put the new sensor on the connector before you attempt for reinstall okay all right here we go guys the crankshaft position sensor is out the old one right here the new one right here the new one does not come with a bolt so take your bolt from your old one put in your new one make sure you get it in the correct position that way it doesn't get bound up on any of the internals there we go guys you just saved yourself about seven to eight hundred dollars from taking it to a repair shop doing it yourself I uh, did get a, a tip take the <laughs> tire off give yourself a little bit more room uh, you can do it with the tire on um, 
until you need to put the new one in. And then <laughs> you need to get rid of that tire. Give yourself all the space you can because you're gonna have to squeeze your hand in there pretty tight. All in all, not that bad of a repair, guys. Great job.